Okay, so because I have uh, nothing to fucking play, um, we're going to be playing this game that Scott Cawthon released, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's. He released Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Ria Simulator. I read the reviews and people are saying that it's not what it seems but uh from the screenshots i'm uh, i'm pretty excited because it has obviously the most advanced uh, game engine and graphics that i have ever seen in a video game so why not how, how about we just uh get right into it it's a new day it's your time to shine it's time to take your career into your own hands you've saved money your whole life great now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you Okay, so I was, uh, I played the game earlier, and I can't seem to find out how to reset the game. Because this guy is so secretive with the fucking files that I can't da I can't find the user data f uh, f file for this <laughs> so um so I'll just play a little clip of what happened technically uh, to, to sum it up I was um in a room with baby from sister location and it seems like he was evaluating her and testing how she reacts to certain tones of uh, noises and then this happened at the last, uh, the last tone. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. <gasps> and, uh, I, no. But yeah, let, let, let's do this. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. Liability. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Alright, it doesn't look like I could buy anything that costs 20 bucks, so... So far, it, we bought some pretty good stuff, but there was a discount ball pit? Oh my god. I thought it was a crate full of like, I thought it was a box full of balls that we were gonna put into a ball pit. But no, the box is the ball pit. Oh my god. Playtest. Oh god. Oh! Is he dead? What? Is he dead? Alright. Oh. oh yeah! Hold up, wait for it. Oh! Get out of the game, what up? Are we going to try for a huh? Well, I mean, if you die two out of four times, I'd say it's a 50-50 chance you're gonna survive. Oh, finally! It's good enough for our store. It's good enough. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah! man! Alright. Alright, let's, let's put it over here. Get some variety on the placement. Let's, uh... What is this? Playtest? We can playtest this? Um... Okay. 
know what I'm saying? Upgrade. Why, why can't I upgrade? Ooh. This time pop soda. I shall accept. Oh, I get it. Now I can upgrade. Ah, yes! Now we actually look like a pizzeria and not something a, a Saw movie would be based on. Alright. Finish! Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome! <gasps> That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. What? You have a lot of work to do huh? while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies oh, to buy, oh, papers to print, oh. and repairs to make. I don't... Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry oh. about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Uh, now get me. to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Shit. Dude, I don't fuck with that clown picture, man. Hell no. Ah, uh, we can't look away or it restarts. Alright, not picking up anything. Come on. Come on! Oh my god. Why is this shit so loud? Uh oh. No way, it still fucking plays when I'm out. Oh fuck, I completely forgot to fucking stop shit. Come on! Alright, so looking at the vents does not stop it. Right? Oh yeah! Fuck that nose for good luck! Not wrong. Oh fuck. Alright. Hey, menus? Like... What the fuck happens to the menus where you need to print once? Tell me why there's black ooze coming out from it. It's like... Tell me why. Is that just like a normal wear and tear thing I never knew about? Remotely unclogging the toilets. Do we have like a robot doing this shit? 
doesn't make any fucking sense! Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything. I mean, like, the first night's always the easiest, so I'm not, like, completely worried about this night. But they still have shit chase you in every once in a while. I mean, the Five Nights at Freddy's 4, you would say that about that night, but it was grossly apparent that that was probably not as easy as you would want it to be. But legit, this is all we gotta do, and then we're done. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, Log off! Great job. Woo! It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your oh. ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Fuck. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect That's to your end-of-day routine, That's fucking and Freddy. that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. This is what I showed you guys. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, Use the taser provided to you. You can okay, use it three so times fucking... without damaging the hardware. That blood? Every use over three, however, That's will decrease the... the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Ah, fuck me. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Right, Remember, use here. your company as your taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, Let's interrogate one. Freddy. Where is she going? <laughs> Document results. Yes. Definitely. Begin audio prompt in three, okay. two, one. Document results. Begin <laughs> audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. That's the second time I used it, right? Document 
and results. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. New visitors, 30. Total visitors, 30. Damn. No lawsuits, yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Alright, we could buy a single spade, uh, a, a sanitation station. Yes. That is a huge liability. All right. Oh yes, oil. That's that's how you get people like you know coming. Fuck yeah, deluxe. We're we're buying we're buying all the games today. Fuck yeah. All right, we have no one on the stage yet. So hopefully tomorrow. That's started. Yes! Look at that Faz rating going up. We got a sponsorship offer. Marty's Plunger is nothing goes down that can't go up. Alright. So. Let's go back to the catalog. Let's see. Uh, can we buy any? Happy Clark. Are these canon characters? Candy Cadet? We're buying a Holy shit! We are... We are... Walking up, man. Right? Oh, no. To the east side. I like how it says Dumpster Divers Weekly. That's what budget said. I'll save up money. Why does it say liability risk? Oh, I was about to say maybe because it's powered by a car battery, but they all are. So this one's more entertaining, but it's a liability risk. Probably because he's fucking retarded, it looks like. Alright. So, let's finish for the day. And let's get started. All right, let's order some cups. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God! Damn! Holy shit. Oh, shit! Where is it? Where is it? Where are they at? Where are they at? <coughs> Fuck me. Oh shit. They play it. Play it. <coughs> what? Shit, mate. Alright, 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 uh... What we got, what we got, what we got? Alright, we got... Oh shit, wait, wait, it says some. it says something. Fuck, dude, pop up again! Come on, come on. Where it at, though? Where... Is it at?
felt so much clinch. All right, all right, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Starting to heat up up in here. All right, come. And ah, oh, shit, shit. There's a stain on my screen and it looks like fucking eyes. Oh, fuck me sideways and call me Mikey. Do that honk for good luck! I just heard some. I have both my headphones on too, cause I'm not a pussy. No, it's funny. I'm probably gonna scream my heart out right now. <laughs> Together again. I'm done. That's it. That's it.